there, kids, and welcome to Creature Feature. You might wonder what I'm doing out here late at night. You see, I had to go to Radio Hut to buy some more parts for my, my time machine, you know, because uh, I needed some transistors and capacitors, and I even got this nifty little thing so I can install an AM, FM radio. That's right. Well, you know, we've got a really great movie for you tonight, which I'm sure you're all going to enjoy. And, uh, boy, it's a little chilly out here, you know. It's a little bit after Halloween and stuff, and Actually, it's kind of spooky out out here. I mean, she's very zombies. Z zombies. Zombies. Uh, oh dear. Um. Oh, okay. Well, that, that's that's nice. So look, it's zombies, kids. Oh, horrible. Uh. That's interesting. Well, anyway, so yeah, I picked up these things for my time machine, you know, and you know, the time-space continuum, it's, it's a very delicate fabric, kids, and my, my problem is I haven't figured out what kind of fabric time is. Is it 100% cotton or, or is it polyester? Because, you know, you get those rips in time that you hear about on those sci-fi shows, and, and I gotta figure out what to sew these things up with. And... Oh, zombies! Hey, Doc. What? Zombies. Zombies are cool. Uh, oh dear. What is what is it with today? Uh, yeah, over there. Get along, little zombie. You know th this place is getting a little weird for late at night. It is bleak November, though. <laughs> Uh, uh, anyway, kids, where was I? Oh, yeah, time machine. So anyway, you know, when you're messing with time, you have to be very careful because, you know, you don't want to disrupt that time-space continuum. Look that up on uh, Wikipedia there, kids. Uh, uh, uh. Because, you know, uh, I, I watch a lot of sci-fi movies and stuff, and, you know, if you, you mess around with the time-space continuum and you just pop in and you're already there, it's really going to kind of mess things up and stuff. And, and I don't know, uh, maybe I... I should watch a little more Star Trek, you know? Doc, 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 you have got to help me! There is a vicious bunch of registered people chasing me! Register people? Don't, don't you mean zombies? Same thing! I, maybe I forgot to pay for that 24-pack of bottled water on the bottom of my car! Oh, dear. Well, this is interesting. You know, uh, maybe I, I better start moving along because it's a little strange seeing all these Zombies wandering around here. Hey, hey, Otis, what, what are you doing out here tonight? Well, I'm just letting people know that the end is near. What do you What do you mean the the, the end is near? Are you talking like the the zombie apocalypse or something? Nah, the end of the show. Only about 58 more minutes. Ah, lovely. Hey, hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about this uh, uh zombie apocalypse that seems to be going on here tonight? Ah, this ain't no apocalypse. These are the hordes of the unemployed dead. The unemployed dead? Well, yeah, you know, scary clowns are all the rage on TVs and movies these days. Uh-huh. So all these zombies lost their acting contracts. Oh, great. So that means that they're just going to be wandering around vagrantly on the streets and stuff, and we're probably going to have to get some sort of CD ordinance passed where we can put them on a bus and ship them off to Cleveland. <laughs> well, you know, Doc... There are 47 ways to get rid of zombies. Oh, lovely. And, and what would those be? The first is to coat their armpits with butter during the high summer solstice. Kills them instantly. The second, invite them to a slumber party and make them wear footy pajamas. Footy pajamas? The third involves babies and cans of spaghetti. Oh, hell no! Okay, well, uh, isn't there, isn't there some better way to, to get rid of them? Uh, hey, I, I've heard that, you know, you can, like, shoot them in the head and that'll kill them instantly. Doc, we can't do that. Well, why not? Well, kids these days are so impressionable that they see something on TV, then they try to do it at home. And... Yeah, I, I, I think I can understand that because, you know, I remember, you know, when, when Donny Osmond was all their age and all the kids were, were wearing purple socks and, and, and underoos and stuff like that. It's just like on Three's Company when Jack Tripper started wearing those little shorty shorts that were really tight. Oh, oh yeah, that, was, that can be dangerous out there, boys and girls, so don't try that at home. You know, there's one surefire method we can get rid of these zombies. How do we do that? Take the zombies bowling. Bowling? It's clearly stated in the ancient Etruscan Book of the Dead that if you challenge a team of zombies to a bowling game and they lose, they can never roam these streets again. Hey, that would be a good idea. 
I'll tell you what, kids, since we just happen to be here at the West Lanes Bowling Center, I think I'm gonna challenge those zombies to a bowling match. Hey, you stupid zombies, I hereby challenge you to a bowling match, and, and if I win, then you guys gotta get on the first bus to Cleveland, and, and if you lose, you get to eat Nurse Carrie. <laughs> oh, you know zombies can't eat me. I'm a vegan. Oh, that's right. Probably wouldn't taste good, but you'd be good for him. Tell you what, kids, let's get into tonight's movie, and we'll meet you back inside the bowling alley in just a little bit. So, Igor, wherever you are, roll that movie. kids welcome back you know i'm here at the beautiful west lanes bowling alley in omaha nebraska and we're about ready to start our zombie bowling session and what you've never heard of omaha nebraska well nebraska's kind of just south of like massachusetts and stuff so just look it up on google maps you'll find it <laughs> so anyway i'm here at the shoe counter i gotta get some shoes here oh shoe girl shoe girl where are you i need some shoes hi doc Welcome to West Lane. Nurse Cassie, what are you doing here? I'm working my way through college as a part-time shoe girl here at the alley. Oh, that's... This way, I get to wear as many shoes as I want. I, I, hey, hey. Hey, aren't you that Nurse Cassie from Creature Feature? Hey, hey, Hi. hey, buddy. It, with this outfit you got on, it looks like you just busted out of jail. No, I'm a, um, I'm a janitor. Yeah, 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 I'm a, I'm a janitor. Uh huh. So, so uh, uh, Cassie, you bowl here a lot? Sure, I do. What kind of shoes do you wear? Um, this one. Hey, that janitor stole my shoe. You know what? I think when that janitor uh, gets picked up for work, he's probably gonna trade that shoe for a pack of smokes. Now, anyway, I need to get my Hold shoes, honey, excuse, because- Excuse me, buddy. Uh, excuse me. Ma'am, there's a problem with these shoes. What's wrong? I gave you a size 10. Do they That's, fit? Yes, they fit, but smell that. Y you know what, kids? Sometimes bowling shoes can get a little stinky. No, <laughs> these shoes are not smelly enough. I want these things to stink so bad that people can smell me from a mile away. That way I can come down here, bowl, drink beer, and avoid my wife's phone calls like a man. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Oh, it's her! She's trying to ruin my fun. Can we take care of these? Yes, give me a minute. I'll get these taken care of. Igor, can you sneak these up a little bit? Protect these smell. Hey, hey, Nurse Cassie, what is uh, Igor doing back there to make them shoes stinkier? Oh, you don't want to know. Ah. Here you go, sir. Oh! <laughs> Those smell like death! Perfect! All right. Tell you what, honey. I need some shoes here, so what can you hook me up with? Uh, I, I gotta get start bowling against these zombies. Here's your shoes. They're size six. Size six. Hey, hey, Doc. Yeah. I, I already picked us out a couple bowling balls. Which one do you want? Uh, I think I'll take the orange one. Well, I already picked that one for myself, so you can have this green one. Uh, okay. Ah, 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 my foot, my foot, ah. Sorry about that, Doc. Uh, to make up for it, you can have this orange one. Uh, uh, okay, uh. Ah, oh, oh, my other foot. Oh, oh, good. Oh, the, the swelling. Oh, Here, Doc. Oh, oh. Here's some size 16s. Ah. Uh, I'll tell you, oh my God, tell you what kids, why don't we get back into tonight's feature and when we come back you'll see some, some, ow, bowling action and thanks a lot buddy, oh. Igor, you're not back there stinking up these shoes, roll that movie. Uh, uh, uh.
what makes her say that. They can't show that on television, can they? Otis, I don't understand it. What are we going to do? These zombies, they're such wonderful bowlers. Uh, you know, Doc, nor normally they ain't. Something's going on. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I, I wonder what it could be. Th this is odd, folks. Hey, hey, Otis, I, I don't think this has ever been asked on television before, but why is there a banana sticking out of a zombie's pants? Bananas are high in potassium, dude. <laughs> you know, uh, I think this is uh, very unusual, and hey, wait a minute. This isn't any ordinary banana. This banana is wired. This is an antenna. I think these zombies are cheating. And you know what? I'm going to get to the bottom of this and find out what's going on. Come on, let's go. Boys and girls, look what I found. It's that stupid joke telling dollar deer. A curse has spoiled again! <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna make jerky out of you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me explain. I was controlling the zombies so they would stay in town. If they lose, they'll have to go to Cleveland, where there's nothing to do but hunt. It's deer season, you know, and I'm just trying to save my 258,000 relatives in the area. You know what? That That's cheating, and, and you know what? That's punishable by bowling law, by, by being locked in the shoe room for eternity. Igor's been eating corn dogs and nachos all night. Yeah. Uh, well, well, wait, 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 wait. I'll make you a deal. I'll let you win your match and leave with all if you can't answer one of my jokes. Well, that sounds like it'd be pretty easy. Okay, okay. Why should a bowling alley be very quiet? Gee, I don't know. So, I guess I win. So, take your zombies and get the heck out of my bowling alley. Hey, Doc, why should a bowling alley be very quiet? A bowling alley should be very quiet so you can hear a pin drop! <laughs> oh, oh, well, Doc, you win! I gotta get the fuck out of here! Later on, jump! <laughs> hey, hey, Doc, they got ping pong here now, too? Ah, never mind. Tell you what, kids, why don't we get back and do tonight's feature and we'll be back in a little bit to say goodnight. Igor. Roll that movie. Hi, kids.
Sports. I'm here with Ray and Mike from the West Lanes Bowling Alley right here in Omaha, Nebraska. And I want to thank you two guys for letting us come out and have this zombie bowl-a-thon to benefit the Sienna Francis House right here in Omaha, homeless shelter that really needs the help. And uh, we made a couple of hundred bucks here tonight and we're really thankful to have the cooperation from you guys here. You're welcome. welcome. Oh, now how long has the West Lanes been here in Omaha? Since 1955. 1955. Now this is, I'm guessing, a family-owned establishment. Sure is. All right. And then, uh, what generation are you guys here with the with the family? I'm third. Third generation, and and you're. I'm. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Well, we'll just say he's part of the family. There you go. So, you folks want to come out here? Now, you guys got you got league bowling. Family bowling, all Open sorts of bowling, crazy stuff. Seven days a week, league bowling, cosmic bowling on the weekends. Come on down and see us. Check us out. There you go, and they can hook you up. They got food here. There's plenty of parking. You're just going to have a real good time here. So once again, gentlemen, thank you very much for letting us come out here and do our zombie bowl -thon. And the folks at Sienna Francis House, they thank you too. Thanks, Doc. You're welcome, Doc. All righty. So, Igor, without further ado, Get us back into tonight's movie. Ah, ah, ah. Well, kids, there you have it. I hope you had fun tonight hanging out with us at the West Lanes Bowling Alley in Omaha, Nebraska. And we got them zombies out of here for good in that stupid dollar deer. And I hope we'll see you again next week where we'll have another piece of crap for you. Here's Doc Sanguinary and the entire nursing staff saying good night and see y'all again next week. Bye-bye now.